Kohei Horikoshi, my greatest role model. I've always wondered how he colors his illustrations, so in this video, you will watch how I go from this to this, studying Kohei Horikoshi, the creator of My Hero Academia. Let's get started, everyone. All right, everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I am really excited to start learning how to color like Kohei Horikoshi. It's been something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I've been putting it off because obviously I'm working on manga, I'm working on other stuff. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm out here working. So for those of you that know, my art style and Kohei's is pretty different um, in terms of manga and in terms of color. I personally don't do a lot of digital painting anymore just because I've re-fallen in love with my Copic markers and doing my illustrations traditionally, but I figured I might as well learn how to do stuff digitally as well, you know, just to add that to my arsenal. So in this video, we're going to be breaking it down into four topics. These four topics are going to be software, Kohei style, tools that you need, and my final thoughts. So let's officially get into this video. So software that you will need. Um, You'll need digital software to draw on. It does not matter what you use. If you have a specific preference, mine, all you guys know is Clip Studio, but Kohei does his stuff in Photoshop. So if you are more fluent in Photoshop and Adobe, go for it. If you are more fluent in Clip Studio, go for it. If you have other software that you use and you can make some really cool stuff, go for it. As I say in all my videos, guys, it does not matter what software you use, it all boils down to your artistic capabilities and how you can make that software bend to your will. Okay, so let's talk about Kohei style. Now we all know Kohei has a very unique style that bridges whimsical cartoon type anatomy with realism, which in a nutshell is anime in general because anime is just, you know, a more simplified version of realism. But Kohei does it in a way that just makes it so unique and just so beautiful. Now, when I started learning and studying Kohei's style and figuring out, you know, how to incorporate some of the stuff he does with some stuff that I do, it was um, not necessarily focusing on color. It was more about manga. And now that I'm studying him on how he colors in Photoshop and, and just the techniques he uses, man, some of the stuff he creates is super detailed and super in like depth when you really break down pictures of his like some of the stuff that he draws like the stuff i'm showing on the screen to those just looking at it from face value it looks so simple like two tones for the skin maybe three tones for the uh, the shirts and jackets and maybe even two for the buildings and stuff but the way he blends everything together using specific tools man he brings the simplest simplistic style to just a whole nother level so if you're like me and you're trying to learn how Kohei colors or adding techniques that he might use digitally to your arsenal, definitely study. I always talk about all the time, study him, you know, practice makes perfect, but also really just really look and break down the pictures that he makes to see exactly what he does, how he blends two colors together or how he doesn't, you know, sometimes for a shadow, he'll just do a straight line, you know, for that shadow and that's it, but it works. I also noticed when studying his art for his illustrations, for his color illustrations, the line art he does is very unique as well because sometimes he either uses a blending mode or he'll actually just use a different type of color pen to ink with for his illustrations. So when you look at his illustrations, they don't look super comic book like, like for his manga art. Like they still have super bold lines, don't get me wrong, but sometimes these lines are not straight black. Sometimes there may be a dark gray. Sometimes they're even, you know, a brown or, you know, depending on what character it is, sometimes it's even like a blonde or a lighter beige color for blonde hair, like for Kachan or, you know, for another character. It's like, you know, he, he mixes up his ink colors as well as the colors he's using. And that's something that I'm not used to because most of my work is geared towards my super dark black outlines. Okay, the next one is tools needed. This one is quick because if any software you're working with has these two tools, you'll be fine. You just need the blur tool and a blend tool to get that effect that Kohei does for blending colors for clothes and hair. So if you have those two tools in your arsenal, whether it's in Clip Studio or Photoshop, you will be good to go. Okay, and my final thoughts are, I definitely like the way it's coming out so far. I can't wait to do the background tutorial video as well because that one's gonna be fun. 
Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Check out some of my other videos. And as always, stay creating. I hope this helped you guys. And peace.